Okay, this is a bit of a tale of two tablets. What we've got here is a Surface 3 and we've got a Surface Go 2. The Surface 3 was a follow-on from the Surface 1 and 2, which were both uh, ran Windows RT and were ARM-based processors. Uh, with the Surface 3, it then went to, in this case, it's an Intel Atom processor. Uh, it, this one's got four gigabytes of RAM and it's got 128 gigabytes built-in storage. Surface Go 2, much faster, but what I've actually done is I put Windows 11 on both of them and just to see whether this would actually run it uh, well enough. We'll have a look at that in a sec. You can um, both at the moment charging, but this one charged with a USB connection, whereas the Surface Go 2 uses a proprietary connection. On the Surface 3, you've got type keyboard this one's looking a little bit shabby you can see on the corner but considering this came out in 2015 that's not too bad you've got on the back there's a kickstand on the surface 3 this actually only is set to three positions Uh, you've got a headphone socket there, you've got the power input there, you've got uh, USB output there, and you've got a video socket there. On the top, you've got volume up and down, and a power switch. Front and rear cameras, there's even a home button on there, but that seemed to be something that got ditched later on. Considering this is a seven year old device, not too bad. Now by the time of the Surface Go 2, screen is just slightly smaller, but you've also got a much smaller bezel. You've got the power input on the side, got a micro SD card on the back on both. Uh, you've got USB-C on the side and you've got a headphone socket. Volume control still on the top, power switch. And this time the kickstand is actually pretty much infinite position there. Okay, and this one looks in a better condition, but that's because it's a bit newer. Okay, switching on then. You'll see it takes just a little bit of time to get up and running. And then you get the login screen where you then have to enter a password or PIN. Now, once you're actually in, it's not actually too bad. Right, if this is, uh, you can see it's responding fairly well. And if you're scrolling through, you can actually scroll ahead of where the, th of the thumbnail is being displayed. So you can sort of see it's, sometimes it takes a little a couple of seconds for them to be drawn, but it's not too bad. Now, the experience that I've found is that with the Surface 3 running Windows 11, it's a little bit slower and you can sometimes get ahead of the thumbnails. So it takes a few seconds to draw. But you could probably say that with the Surface Go 2 because it's marginally quicker, but you still have the same issue to some extent. If I put a video on both, you 
you can see the surface 3 is slower but it does actually still get there uh, you just got to be a bit more patient with it okay well that's it anyway the uh, so the surface 3 seven years old uh, still running Windows 11 so still not too bad still reasonably current bit of keyboard damage but um, still viable